Here's how to optimize your PC for gaming without spending any money. Right click the start button and hit settings. Go to the gaming section and click game mode at the top. Turn it on if it's not already. Since you're already in gaming settings, click graphics at the bottom. Find your game in the list or use browse to locate it. Click options, then set graphics preference to high performance. Power settings matter more than people think. Go back to settings, then system, then power. Change power mode to best performance. Windows tries to save energy Energy by default, which is pointless on a desktop. You want full power available when gaming. Next, your graphics drivers probably need updating. Right-click Start Again and open Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters and right-click your graphics card. Click Update Driver. Old drivers can tank your frame rates hard. Now clear out junk that's slowing things down. Right-click Start and pick Run. Type Clean MGR and hit Enter. Pick your main drive if asked. Check the boxes for temporary files, system cache, and downloaded program files. Click OK, then delete files. Games create cache files and need free space to work properly. Too many programs starting with Windows kills performance. Open Task Manager from the Start menu. Go to the Startup tab and look through everything. Right-click programs you don't need immediately and hit Disable. Each startup program takes memory and processing power away from your games. While Task Manager is open, click Performance, then Memory. Check the available amount at the bottom right. If it's under 4 gigabytes, close some programs before gaming. Low available memory forces your system to work harder. Your monitor settings might be holding you back. Right-click the desktop and select Display Settings. Scroll to Advanced Display Settings. Make sure your refresh rate matches your monitor's capabilities. If your monitor does 144Hz but Windows is set to 60Hz, you're missing smoother gameplay. These changes work because they remove Windows' default limitations and let your hardware actually perform.